Okay, if you're a guy and you're old enough to remember when cell phones were big and your waistline was small, you are the target audience for the testosterone replacement industry. The commercials seemingly promise a big drink from the pharmaceutical fountain of youth. My mantra, always go the extra mile. To treat my low testosterone, I did my research. My doctor and I went with Axeron, the only underarm low T treatment. But are men putting their health at risk by dosing instead of dieting? We have two experts in that field with me right now. Mike Sisk owns a chain of low T centers. And Dr. David Samadhi is a urologist and a member of the Fox News Medical A team. Welcome to you both. You. Mike, I'm going to start with you. you. I want to hear about your centers. How many of these clinics do you own and why are men coming to you? Yeah, Jerry, so we have 50 of these centers nationwide. And the reason men are coming to us is they're looking for help. You know, guys, you know, our parents went quietly into the night, and today, guys aren't, they don't want to do that. And so, you know, you come into my center, we run labs on you. I have over three million data points about our patient. You know, you'll, you'll hear a lot of negative things about testosterone, and that's why you need to come to a center like mine, because we do it right. You say you do it right. Why do you think that your centers are so successful specifically? It's because our patients trust the medicine. You know, every one of our centers have a medical professional inside the centers. We do our blood work in-house. We only do injections in-house. We never send scripts home with guys. Uh, we don't sell supplements. We don't sell weight plans. You know, we only do testosterone. And then if our patient has some other underlying uh, medical condition, we send them to a specialist, you know, like the, the doctor that you have on. All right. Well, you know, we were just seeing pictures of your clinics, and they're sort of like man caves. Uh, I guess it's a place where, where men are supposed to feel extra special, extra comfortable. But I want to turn to the medical aspects of this now, Dr. Samadhi, to you. Uh, are these drugs safe? Well, we are learning more and more that there are a lot of side effects and issues with this testosterone. And if you look at the market, they've been like really increasing astronomically. And part of it is because, you know, the, the whole male menopause is a very gradual process. With women, you would have a very sharp menopause. They know exactly when it happens, when the hot flashes, the symptoms start to come in. With men, it's a very gradual process. You lose your testosterone about 1% every year. So by the time you get to your 50s, you start feeling lousy, tired, gaining weight, your sex drive goes down. And unfortunately, a lot of this testosterone are being used off-label. The indication for using testosterone is for people who really have a real production problem with testosterone. If their testicles are not working, adrenal is not are, producing, that's the indication. Are you saying that these, these drugs are being misused by people? They are used for things that are not indicated. They are All used right. for being like tired. For, for example, if you're obese, if you have thyroid issues, if you have depression, your testosterone is going to go down. If you're stressed, it's going to affect your testosterone. So instead of going to the gym, working out, losing the weight, we're giving a lot of testosterone. And going back to your question, they are not as safe as people make it sound. Because All right. Well, let's give Mike a chance to weigh in here. Because, Mike, I know you're not a doctor, but you've been spent a lot of time thinking about this, studying it. You see people every day in your clinics uh, coming in. Do you think there's a danger here, a risk here? I think there's a real risk if people don't uh, do this correctly. You know, as I told you, guys come into our center, we run labs on our patients before they ever get testosterone. You know, there's a ton of primary care doctors out there that are just giving guys testosterone based on, uh, you know, symptoms, and they're not running labs on them. And so your doctor is absolutely correct. You know, if, if this goes unmanaged, which is why our centers are so successful, there is a real risk here. Well, I have to ask you, by the way, we're seeing a picture of one of your clinics right here. They're very attractive, but I, I have to ask the question, you know, the FDA is even saying that they haven't made up their minds on these drugs. They're not sure about these drugs. They might be indicated in, in heart attack and stroke. I'm sure the, the guys walking into your clinics are asking about this. What are they told? They're absolutely asking these questions, and that's what we tell our guys. You need to do your homework. You know, there's, you know, about half the guys that come into our centers, we don't treat. They, they do not have low testosterone, just like your doctor talked about. You know, we will refer so them out them to away? some specialist. You turn absolutely. them away? Absolutely. We only... Well, we don't really turn them away. We send them out to a specialist, you know, like the doctor or urologist that you have on a panel there, or we'll send them to an endocrinologist or wherever, you know, this guy might have a problem. 
Well, Dr. Samini, I mean, I look at this and, you know, it's interesting because there's been so much about hormone replacement therapy on the women's side and lots of questions about whether it's safe or not. And now questions about this. What do you think are the biggest risks? Well, your point is well taken. I think it's risky business. We have to make sure that men are really aware of these risks, risk of stroke, risk of heart attack. It's almost doubled. More and more research is coming in about this risk and FDA is going to look into this to put a panel and talk about even clotting and there's going to be a new label now about blood clots so these are not just like a quick fix I want you to also be aware because my field is all about prostate cancer and 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 prostate health so when you get a lot of this testosterone you have to know about the size of your prostate are they examining the patients are they looking at their prostate if you have an enlarged prostate or have any potential for prostate cancer putting this testosterone right here this is the bladder and this is the prostate right here so if you have any family history of, of prostate cancer if you have elevated PSA the problem that I have with some of these blood tests that are being done is that they don't know the history of the PSA beforehand so there's no context so it's for the number. exactly right so it's almost looking at the patient in a vacuum and they may have a low PSA but they don't have the history and that's dangerous and for All that right, well let's let Mike respond to that Mike do you have an answer to that Absolutely. Your doctor is 100% correct. You know, that's why when a guy comes in, we get that baseline PSA. And if his PSA is out of line, we send him to a urologist. We had over a thousand guys come in who had elevated PSA. Four or 500 of those guys had prostate cancer that they wouldn't have known about had they not came to the low T center. And then we check those baselines every six months to see if there's velocity. And if there is, we send them just like uh, to Dr. Zanardi there. You know, I have to ask you, Mike, because this all started with your own case, right? Uh, you went to a doctor. He wanted you to take Zoloft. You said, no, I don't want that. Tell me what happened. Yeah, so, you know, as you can tell, I'm not an athlete. So my only talent was my brain. And so <laughs> I couldn't take any mind-altering drug. And so what I, I was desperate. And there, that's exactly what happens to my guys. You know, they go to the medical community because that's what we were taught to do is go seek help. And then, you know, the medical community, they didn't have an answer. Well, today there is an answer. You know, there's, there's thousands of positive cases about testosterone out there. You know, if you look at our website, I've got hundreds and hundreds of, you know, testimonials of guys telling us how we've changed their life, saved their life, saved their marriage. And, and, and that was exactly what happened to me. I was, I was in trouble. And, you know, I couldn't find anybody in Dallas to help me. So I, you know, developed some relationships right. with some doctors. And here we are today. Well, I want to get the doctor to respond because you do have a lot of research at your fingertips, your own experience, too. But, I, but that really hasn't been tested, right? You haven't had outsiders look at that data. Dr. Did, somebody, your Well, that's response? not true. Jerry, there's no question that giving testosterone to men is going to make them feel better. The question is, is this like an easy way out? Is it a knee-jerk reaction? Or should we really train our men out there to go ahead and lose the weight? If you have body fat around your stomach, Testosterone gets converted to estrogen and your sex drive goes down. By losing weight, your testosterone will go up. If you're under a lot of stress and you take some time off, take care of the depression, you know, the, your testosterone will come back. There are other back. solutions Absolutely. in Absolutely. And I think Mike, I, I have to tell you, thanks for coming on and, and telling us yes, about uh, your clinics. I think it's fascinating. Dr. Samadhi, great information. Thank you. Appreciate both of you being here. Thank you so much. Pleasure.